Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay. Um I'm not really sure what I want to talk about. <laughs> I haven't really and and I do this a lot at the moment. I don't oh, I've got hair right now. I do this a lot at the moment. I don't really think as much about what I'm going to talk about in a vlog before I start talking and that's probably one of the reasons why I end up talking about my writing quite a lot because that tends to be what's on the forefront of my mind um so yeah <laughs> so um as I've mentioned a few times recently um I'm back at work and I'm perfectly fine with being back at work um I still mostly enjoy my job. Um, it's hard work, it's tiring, it, it can be stressful at times, um, but that's what it was like anyway. So it, it, in some ways it's the same and in some ways it's different um, to, to how it was before. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very much that, but at the same time I'm also in that, as I said, in that mind frame of, I know how much better being a full-time writer is going to be, so I'm trying to look into ways of promoting myself a little bit more, um, get my name a little bit more out there, um, and, and sort of try to speed up the process of becoming a full-time writer a little bit sooner. Um, so this, again, this is something that I had mentioned on previous vlogs, but I have no intention of being a best-selling author. I have no intention of being, you know, a, an author with one big, massive hit. Um, my intention is, and has been for a while, to basically have a lot of books that sell reasonably well, rather than a couple of books that sell really well, um, because that's a much more reliable way <laughs> of making money when you are an independent author. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily want to be a big, I mean, it'd be nice, it'd be really nice, um, but I don't necessarily plan on becoming a big household name. I am much more interested in, because I have a lot of stories to tell, getting a lot of stories out there um, and sustaining myself across many books rather than trying to sustain myself across a couple of books um, where it's going to be a lot harder, especially for someone like me who's really, really, really bad at self-promoting themselves um so I've tried a couple of things um as I mentioned at the end of the last vlog so this today is the day when um the day that I'm recording this is the day that uh the colors I see has got its next free book promo um and one of the things I have done is I have gotten help from somebody to basically spread the word on as many hey there's a free book um websites <laughs> um, because I'm so bad at finding those I'm so bad at like filling out the application and, and stuff like that so I was like if, if somebody can sort of do it for me um, who knows what they're doing then then that's fine I, I need to sort of start finding people who know what they're doing um, if nothing else so we will see how that how that does <laughs> What I'm, what I'm hoping for, because I know how well The Colours I See does normally, because this is the third free book promo that I've done for The Colours I See. So I've got a point of comparison um, for it. I've also, I also know how well Broken Before Youth and Welcome to Maryvale did in their first promo, and um, Welcome to Maryvale did as, about as well as The Colours I See normally do, does. Um, and broken before you completely out outstripped it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's got something to do with the severed arm on the cover. <laughs> Which, by the way, by the way, um, I know it's probably gonna like to some people just gonna like oh, I really didn't want to know that, but it is actually my arm. Um, I I was the one who actually um, I'm not I'm not brilliantly good at using Photoshop. But because like my cover guy was taking um taking a while to sort of do anything and I was sort of like, well, I've kind of got an idea for for what I want. Um 
I did actually Photoshop my own arm to be that severed arm on the cover. Um, I can tell, I can tell that it's sort of my arm. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else would. I don't know, you know, how obviously it's a, it's a woman's arm. <laughs> um, or anything like that. I, I you know, I, I, I really don't know if you can sort of like just tell by looking at it. But then again, knowing certain things I do know about the book, you could interpret it as not necessarily being, you know, this character and maybe sort of being to do with this or to do with that. And you know, uh, so you can open to interpretation exactly who um that is on the cover of the book. So I don't think it matters too much that it's obviously <laughs> fine <laughs> although I have well, I did sort of like do a few effects on it and stuff like that to try and make it look a little less uh a little less organic and that was kind of intentional um partly to sort of make it look maybe a little bit more dead um despite the fact that it's clearly reaching something um partly you know just to sort of disguise that it's my arm a little bit more <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I actually, uh, I, I took the photo, I um, edited out the background myself, and then I did like the the, the, the broken edge and, and my, my cover guy just kind of tidied it up, tidied up what I'd done for me um, to sort of make it look a little bit more professional because I'm not really very good at this. <laughs> so I think, I, I think that the cover is just, for me, and this is this is the weird thing. My cover guy prefers the Welcome to Marysdale cover. I prefer the Broken Before Use cover, um, and I, I and I think it is a it's a matter of taste. Um, for me, I think I I prefer the purple cover, uh, the purple color. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of green anyway. But I think I, I like the, pa the texturing on the purple a lot more. I like the, the way it looks like there's shadow under the arm as well, which I think is a really clever touch, which was something we um, he sort of accidentally sort of stumbled across. <laughs> um, but we were like, yeah, no, it's, it, it looks like a really good effect. Let's let's keep that sort of that image with it. Um, so yeah, I, I, I sort of prefer that. I like the arm and um, the title being in the arm opposed to part of the title being above and the, the rest of the title being in the sign which is what you get with welcome to mary's vale um i don't know i feel i feel like to me broken before use is a more visually appealing cover um it's a, it's a more statementy kind of cover um not saying that the, the welcome to Mar like the welcome to mary's vale one the more i see it the more i like it and um, so I can understand why he prefers that one. Um, I mean, you know, from his point of view, a lot more work did go into that one. Um, certainly the creation of the sign. Uh, <laughs> he did He did such a good job. He did such a good job with, with both of the covers. He, he really did. Um, I think, yeah, I think there's something about the, um, the Broken Before Use cover, I think, is a cover that is very visually appealing on, on like the, like the, your first viewing of it. I think it's the more dramatic one, it's the more eye-catching one on your sort of first viewing of it. And the the Wealth of Mary's Veil one is more of a is more of a grower. It's more of a one that you kind of appreciate the more you see it and the more you kind of look at it and you kind of go, oh yeah, no, I, I can actually see how clever this is and how, how well done this is. So I, as I said, I like both the covers. I just, I prefer the Broken Before Use one and I think I mean, A, that is the first book in the series anyway, so I think that was always going to do slightly better. But I think the fact that it did perform so well was that cover is very, very visually appealing. Um, it's very easily visually appealing. It's very distinct. It's very, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, <laughs> as a very proud author of the book. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> um, and I, and you know, it's kind of surprising because, um, the colours I see isn't necessarily of, of all the colours. I mean, I like the, I love all the covers that I've got for all of the books. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying any of the covers are bad. I love all the covers. But in terms of eye catchingness, the colours I see isn't necessarily the most sort of attention grabbing, but it always normally does better than the other books or has been until, <laughs> until my two new releases. Um, 
in terms of the free free book promotion, I mean, it is still out flanking all of the other books. Um, mm. It's it's had the most page reads. I think uh, I think if you roughly work it out, you know, on top of all of the of all the normal sales and the free book sales, there is like at least an extra six copies which have just been page reads alone, which is more than all the other books um, currently. Um, although it is very good at getting people to read Hyena Boy afterwards, the, the page read version, um, quite often see people sort of finishing one. I mean, you can see from their reading time that, as I said, I'm still not getting enough page reads not to be able to tell how many people are reading my book <laughs> and what their reading patterns are. Um, so, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it usually performs fairly well during the, the free book. Um, as I said, this time I have uh, I have sought assistance from somebody else to try and get the the word out there in a few more places than they would be normally um, because I'm very bad at finding these things. Um, some of it is you have to sort of know uh, in order to sort of in order to sort of find them, or sometimes you already have to have an account and and various things like that. They can make it surprisingly complicated for you to actually. Um, get things to where you to where you sort of need them so um yeah I, I i don't know when those will go live i imagine they're american sites so i imagine it'll probably be 6 a.m whatever time it is in whichever time zone that it's usually related to um but i don't expect to sort of see any effect from that i mean <laughs> the the American side of things in terms of purchases, which is where a lot of my purchases come from, despite it being very, very British writing. <laughs> like e even like the the you know the colours is very it's a British spelling. You know you're in for a British book. Um, uh, most of my American sales tend to happen sort of whilst I'm asleep. Um, I think during um, I think during the best day. For Broken Four Years from Welcome to Marysdale, I woke up the. I think I went to sleep and it was 20 between the two of them. I woke up the next morning and it was 55 between the two of them, um, which shocked me quite a lot. But it, it goes to show just like how many sort of occur during the eight hours I'm asleep. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm expecting um, a little bit this time that I won't necessarily see any difference during the day because a lot of these sites are probably going to be American based sites um, and a lot of people sort of checking them out are going to be not awake at this point in time um, so I'm expecting not to sort of if I'm going to see a, a sort of increase because of that um, I'm definitely not seeing it for another couple of hours um, it's kind of why I really hate the first day of these free book promos because sometimes you're waiting a long time for that first and then once that first one happens then you sort of like that sort of builds a little bit and then you, you kind of relax a little bit um but like, i i mean i i know that you know because i see does tend to do fairly well i want it to do better than broken for use <laughs> this time i want it to do better than broken for use this time um and if it does significantly better than it has on its previous couple of promotions then on my next promotion which will be hyena boy which will be next month um so i'm trying to do like one a month until christmas apart from december where you're going to get both broken before use and welcome to mary sale um i'm i'm trying sort of like if, if it if what i've done this time proves that it's sort of or potentially has helped um, then Hyena Boy will get the same treatment when it gets its promotion next month. Um, and then, you know, that, that will be the real test because um, of the three of the three prior to the two, <laughs> of, of uh, Hyena Boy, uh, the colours I see, and Echo, Hyena Boy tends to do the worst during its free book promotions. Um, Echo does a little bit better, not by a whole lot, but it does it does do a little bit better. So Hyena Boy will be the real test, um, and then you know if, if that one does do a lot like significantly better than it does normally, then I'll be like, okay, now I know I'm on with the winner with this, and then I will repeat with the, the other books. Um, the other books have theirs. As I said, it's 
it's all a bit of an experiment at the moment. It's uh, it's a case of I need to, I really need to get my name out there as much as possible. And I, yeah, I know I'm not making any money from from getting free books out there, but people need a reason to start reading you. And once they start reading you, and if they enjoy you, they're going to recommend you. And once they start recommending you, that means you you enter the public, uh, the public zeitgeist, or the you know the public, uh, the public consciousness, um, or whatever you want to call it, and once you kind of do that, that's when you start making sales. That's when people will start start can start sort of like saying, yeah, no, this is this is a really good writer. This is somebody that you you should be writing. This is somebody that writes characters that I find are interesting, or this is something that does something a little bit different. Um, you need people to be talking about you, and in order for people to be talking about you, they need to be reading you, and that's why. Yeah, I don't make any money doing the free book promos, but it's giving people the opportunity to read me without taking the risk and you know I'm I'm very much one of those people where I want to minimize the risk to my readers because then they're more likely to take a chance on me and then they're more likely to enjoy me um I mean I know I'm not a perfect writer I I know you know I, I I'm my own editor so <laughs> I know I'm probably you know not necessarily getting it right all the time but you know I'm still writing good stories um I'm still you know putting myself out there which is you know not something that all writers are currently doing as much as they could be doing I am a little bit thinking about Jade when I say that she could be doing so much more to put herself out there she is getting better she is now starting to look at um magazine competitions uh, for short stories and stuff like that so that she can start getting her name out there and start sort of building a little bit of a following for herself um, and I would do that too but I'm really bad at writing short stories <laughs> I'm, I'm really, I can't, I'm short story I like anybody who can write short stories big massive because it, it is a completely different discipline and it's not the easiest discipline and, um, Jade is really lucky because she can write in a number of different different disciplines uh, fairly comfortably. Um, I'm I'm most comfortable writing novel format. Um, I'm very comfortable writing in series format. <laughs> Clearly, I'm a series writer. That that is like primarily what I'm good at, um, or it's primarily what I find the easiest to do because. Like, my idea is like if I try to write a one-off it quite often just ends up being a series anyway um case in point you know Hyena Boy was originally Hyena Boy was a one-off for a long time and then the Liberation Collection happened <laughs> um so Echoes is an increasingly rare example of me writing a one-off and that is kind of you know that, that definitely is. I have no intention of writing another like, there, There's no need to write a, a sequel to Echo, though. There really isn't. I mean, I know, um, I know Jade wanted me to sort of explore the kid characters a little bit more in that one by writing a sequel with, you know, focusing on the kid characters. And I was like, no, there, there's not a story there. You know, let's, let's leave things where they are, where you've got that nice kind of... That nice kind of ending where Echo... Is you know, yeah, this is a nice ending. I don't, want to, I don't want to spoil anything by saying too much. But I, I like the way that book ends. That book ends like this is one of the things. I'll sometimes like imagine you know my books getting turned into films and and things. I think that they would ask me to to change or want to change or alter. And with Echo, there are a couple of bits where I would be absolutely no that has to happen, no, you can't, you, you, I won't, you know, I, I want the this to sort of end the way that I've intended it to end, because there is a reason I've intended it to end that way, um, and, you know, don't, you know, don't, don't sort of make this a happier ending than I intended it to be, it's a perfectly fine ending, you don't need X, Y, and Z to happen, and you know, if, if you want to do this, then then do it with these characters because this is a, you know this is the established couple or this is the, the newly discovered couple or whatever. So do it with do it with the characters that I have decided are a couple. Don't okay, that that does whatever. Echo doesn't end up with anything. Story. 
<laughs> but that's fine. That's what I... No, you don't need that. You don't need a story to, to end with your characters together. And I don't know about my stories at the moment. Certainly end up with my main characters with somebody at the end of it. But <laughs> I think that's because I'm a little bit lonely. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I don't know where I was. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's very much a case of... Yeah, I, I know what I want to sort of do going forward um, in terms of trying to get myself a little bit more noticed. Um, I've got books of different genres out there at the moment as well, which is good. Um, I know my plan for next year is going to keep most of it in the sort of young adult magical realism slash fantasy um, ilk um, because all the ones that are definitely preparing for next year like I, I, I think I'm gonna go with five next year and have the the yeah in the year after along with going back to the the hopefully shadows beneath the light ones as well but who knows how it will go it's all a case of I could do more if I had more time but I don't have more time because I'm having to work full time. So I would like to get to a position where maybe I can drop down an extra day so I can do an extra, an extra day of concentrating on getting like more stuff out there. But yeah, it's going to be a slow process. It's going to be a slow process. It's going to take a while. Um, but with the plan to release five books next year, <laughs> like the plan to release three books this year, I've already got two out there, just got to get the one one and it's it's getting there it's getting there i need to I need to sort of speed up my my editing pace and, and edit through more chapters um as much as possible with that one but i also want to be keeping up with my reviewing of books and i haven't reviewed a book this week so i need to uh get that sorted uh, that's my plan today is i am planning to read <laughs> Um, I don't know if I will make it all the way through the book because I've got to do food shopping now. I've also got to clean out my precious baby gerbils because they are probably overdue being cleaned out because I've been so rushed because of work and everything and trying to get back into that routine. So they were done just before I went back to work. Fortunately, they can get a little while. Um, they're, 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 they're one of the pets where you can sort of go two to four weeks. I think they're pushing the fifth week now, so they do desperately need to be cleaned out today. Um, and I'm doing this vlog a little earlier than I would normally because I also need to put a washer on. <laughs> I was like, in order to fit everything in, I need to film the vlog now, and then I can put the washer on, and then I can go shopping, and then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what my day is going to be like. So... Yeah, I've also got to fit in some time for reading. Hopefully I can get through at least most of that book. To the book. I, I know which book it is. I know which book I plan to do. Um, so I'm doing another another indie one today. And I'm waiting until Wednesday before tackling the latest Fast Death Frights book. Because that is also on my list of books to read. And I was like, I, was, I did debate which one I wanted to do. I was like, well, this other book has caught my attention for a while it's been like on my intended reading list for a while um whereas the first birthright book has only been out for a couple of weeks but i know what's going to happen that part is going to release his next fnaf theory before i read <laughs> again because <laughs> that's what happened last time so i had a couple of the stories spoiled for me and it was my own fault um so yeah i know the the plan is I know which book I'm reading next, that's what I'm going to be reading today, and then first day of flights on my next day off, which is <laughs> Well, it all depends on whether or not I finish the one I'm intending to finish today, or I'm intending to read today. It's like a day and a half hour read, uh, average read, because um, I always read the, about the book to see sort of roughly how long it's going to take me to get through the book. So I know whether or not I've got time to do it in one sitting or in a couple of sittings. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's that's my plan. That's, that's how my day is going to go. And I apologise, it's kind of gone into a rambly direction that none of you were really interested in. But that's
that's that's what my day off is going to look like today. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of rambly all over the place kind of uh, vlog. I know that tends to happen quite a lot with me at the moment, uh, especially when I don't have a definite idea in mind as to what I want to talk about. Um, I hope you guys are interested to see whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time. Hopefully I'll have more planned for that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.